Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. Today, I want to talk about, and I'm pretty sure it's not just me that this is happening to. Um, and these types of matches have happened before, and that's of course these. It seems the increase, the uptick in these raffle stomp matches. And for those of you that don't know, I'm, it may be called something else. Um, but for me, I, I like to call them raffle stomps. You know, R O F L L M A O stomp matches where one team just absolutely kicks the crap out of the other team and you may not even lose a ship in the entire match. The match you guys are watching right now, it's actually a pretty dang good match for me and my Kerr first, but I was bored. I had a little bit of excitement um, when... I'm, and I, again, I'm not sure, really sure where the footage is going to start to roll, but me and the other Kerr first got into a little bit of a... a well, not even a brawl. I just really kited him over to our side of the island, and he, he fell for it. And that's about the only real excitement I had this match. The rest of it was just kicking the crap out of a couple of cruisers and um, the North Carolina. But, you know, I had like 195,000 damage. Um, my secondaries got to really go to town in the game. And I was, I think, I think I finished number two on the team. But it was boring because just... We just completely steamrolled the other team. Now, of course, in any online game, this is going to happen regardless of whatever's done to the game. It's going to happen every now and then, but it certainly seems to be that in World of Warships, this happens a lot. And there's many a times where the videos that I put up on this channel, they're simply the matches that weren't that for the day. Like, I, I'll... I'll come home from work I'll play a couple of rounds of World of Warships and it's if I manage to get three rounds and again because my work, my work schedule is so hectic I may get three rounds of World of Warships in a day and um, two out two of them will be raffle stomps one of them will be you know it's still pretty one-sided but you know they took out three of our guys or four of our guys um, and every every now and then I'll have the rare close game where both teams get down to uh, you know maybe just two or three ships left and ideally, those are the games that you want to be having most of the time. Now, again, I understand it's an online game, and no matter what Wargaming does, you can't control that. But it just seems that these one-sided matches are happening more and more and more and more often now. And there's a couple things I can think of for um, th uh, that Wargaming can do to kind of help that. But... You know, most of the solutions, they also have ways that they can be manipulated. Um, for example, the closest thing would be uh, would be to, of course, do matchmaking by um, skill rank or um, by skill. And, of course, that brings in the issue of, well, if someone can just go tank, you know, their, their, or win, their win rate or whatever. Or, or if they really just want to do it, where they, they're put down at a lower skill, uh, skill floor, not skill floor, sc uh, skill rank. And then they can just go beat the crap out of a bunch of low skill players. And, you know, of course, that's also what rank is for. You know, rank is by skill, and it's competitive. And, I mean, most of the matches I've had in ranked are pretty good. I've still had my fair share of one-sided matches in ranked. But, I mean, it's better than randoms for sure. I mean, and of course, this is also happening in random battles, which, I mean, you know... It's, one of three game modes that we have. Uh, co-op. Okay, four. Get yeah, co-op. You got scenarios, randoms, and then ranked. And ranked's not even available all the time. Oh, okay, five if you include clan battles. But, you know, it's supposed to be pretty much the main online mode for the game. And at tier 10, this is happening a lot. Now, keep in mind, too, this is tier 10. This is where the players, again, should, 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 should be at their best they have the best ships in the game you know performance wise you know the strongest ships maybe not the best ships but the, the strongest ships in each till in, in in each tech uh tech tree and you know ideally by the time you get to tier 10 you should have a pretty good idea of what you're doing and i mean i'm i'm not really kidding anybody most of the p people who play this game especially in north america they have multiple tier 10s they're um because let's face it, this game is not that big in North America. 
You have maybe, what, 10,000 people on, like, peak hours, peak season. So it's not that big of a game in North America's. And you will run into a lot of the same people over and over at tier 10. I've done it before. I'd still do it today. I'll be selling around like, hey, I recognize that guy. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is the people who are playing at tier 10, especially in North America, know what they're doing. They've been on here for quite some time. Now, of course, you're going to have your your uh, wallet warrior and your occasional free XPer that doesn't really know what they're doing. I've seen my fair share of those, too. But for the most part, people sh should know what they're doing at this tier. And these matches are just, they're just, you're just mopping the floor with the enemy team. And I mean, you know, you know, I, I, again, I understand you're going to have that uh, in an online game. And sure, you're going to have that in an average play session three or four times, uh, ideally. But with me recently, especially in the past like month or so, since they've made these uh, matchmaking changes, it's been happening a lot, especially in these straight tier 10 games. And it's boring being on the side that's winning, on the side that's losing. It's incredibly frustrating. Like, it is beyond just... It feels like you're... Someone's, like, just screwing a screw into your head. Because I've been on... I mean, and we, we've, we've all been there. Where you just go four, five, six, seven matches losing. Just getting wiped. Regardless of whatever you do. Your team's just getting wiped. It's annoying as hell. And you can't do anything about it. And the only other way I, I could think of... Them fixing this is to maybe... Have a system of matchmaking where it tracks the people who've, who've been in these matches before. And say, okay, this guy, he's been in these lopsided games. You know, his past two have been lopsided, lopsided. It would tag him as, you know, kind of, like, kind of like a medium priority. And if he keeps having more of those games, then it will be a high priority to put him on a team with maybe a better skill composition. To where he would have a better chance of not having that happen to him again. And that's kind of like... Uh, uh, skill ranked uh, matchmaking but not entirely the same and I don't know what it is if, if it's just maybe the ship composition now um, because of course Kremlin's uh, OP Smallings is OP at tier 10 Stalingrad uh, I don't really run to too many Stalingrads but I'm seeing lots of Kremlins and Smallings and the thing is too more often than not this new matchmaking I gotta give them to, to it to it on this this new matchmaking is really really good at getting really 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 even teams um, although there was one match where um, they it, it, it did put two small links that weren't in a, in a division on the enemy team and didn't give my team any small links we got a Minotaur and a Wooster instead uh, but we did still win so you know there's that um, but as far as I say it's really even and I'm not sure if it's just because I and that's the thing like the ship composition is even the only other thing to really take into consideration is team skill and that can of course be abused like I said at the beginning of this video you can just go throw a bunch of games which would piss so many people off um, and you wouldn't be able to really do anything about it so I'm not sure what could be better uh, better done for this but it's just annoying and I'm not sure if it's just the meta, the current meta that's maybe kind of responsible for this because the current meta is a really passive one because of ships like the Small Inks and the Kremlin and um, Slava or Pobeta if that unholy thing ever comes out. People don't want to push up anymore. They really don't. They play really passively. If you're being really passive in a tier 10 game, you're, you're gonna lose you need to be aggressive to win um so it may have something to do with that and that's a whole nother mess but i'm really curious how many of you guys are getting these same just landslide victories or crushing defeats where you don't even have a chance and again i understand it's an online game it's gonna happen but it certainly seems to be happening much 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 more now than it was when i first started playing when i first started playing at the tier 10 um it was more often than not you had really close games um and i'm not saying every game was like a nail biter but you know those games where you know the t enemy team may have two ships alive your team may have four 
you know, where most of the ships got sunk on both teams rather than used to having a full team left alive. And I remember the first couple of times that happened to me when I was in Montana, I was like, holy crap, that team really freaking sucked or something. Um, because, you know, I'm over here in a Monty with like 120,000 damage done and maybe, maybe th- uh, two or three ships sunk and then the rest of the enemy team's already dead before I even realize what's going on. And it's really frustrating um because you want to have fun games and you know being on the winning side of those steamroll uh, uh, steamroll matches it's not fun you're kind of just bored and again i don't really know what to do about this the only two things i can think of is improved matchmaking or um the meta would have to change somehow to more aggressive one, which Wargaming was trying their hardest to do for the longest time, and then things like small links started to happen, <laughs> and no one wants to push in anymore, so, I don't know, maybe it's a combination of just the meta, the ships that are popular right now, and maybe this new straight tier 10 matchmaking, I don't know, I do like the straight tier 10 matchmaking though, it's a lot better playing tier 8s now, I get up tiered um, a significant amount less than before. But I don't know. It's but this is really is the probably the worst thing about tier ten games right now is that it th- you just have so many of these walkover matches happening, and it's annoying, and I don't know what to do about it. But let me know in the comments down below. Are you having a lot of these similar matches? How is it over in EU? Is it any better? And again, I'm a North America guy. We don't have a lot of players over here, but this game is much much bigger over in Europe. So I'm curious. Let me know what's going on over there. And uh, what you guys think could be done about this? Because, like I say, the only thing I can think of is Matchmaker and the meta. Those are the only two things I can come up with right now. So let me know you guys' thoughts down below. So I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I'm sorry I couldn't make the stream last night. We had a big storm come through yesterday. And my internet just got knocked out, I think, like, 40 minutes before the stream was supposed to start. But, yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. So if you did like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers right now. And we are getting there quite fast thanks to you guys. And i got to say, I'm, it's, last week was an amazing, amazing week of growth on the channel. Cannot thank you guys enough for that. So hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. And I hope to catch all of you guys in the next one.